2019, we took a big bet on the future. We focused ourselves on support beyond the transitional stabilization program, which meant a continued focus on democratic reforms, but also a very conscious decision to look at those sectors that drive future growth. In that regard, we kick-started our support to extractive industries and we invested in better understanding the complex dynamics of urban resilience. We also welcomed the board to accelerate their labs and we asked them to really study the informal sector, the sector that is the second largest in the world and which we feel has untapped potential to further development in Zimbabwe. These exciting new future focused areas didn't mean we took the ball, our eyes off the ball in terms of the immediate needs. So 2019 was a difficult year for Zimbabwe, a drought, Cyclone Idai, and the impacts of the deep but very necessary economic reforms. We took an active lead in early recovery for the Cyclone and continued to invest heavily in building resilience of, of the most vulnerable population in 18 districts in Zimbabwe. So the, un the uniqueness of our program in Zimbabwe lies in the depth and the breadth. Together with our partners, we help build resilience of over 870,000 people and we provide ARVs to over 710,000 people living with HIV. At the same time, we're active at the policy level. For example, we work with government on the low emission development strategy, which tries to combine the, the deep need for economic growth with an equally deep need to protect the beautiful environment in which we live. So these are a few examples of the work that we're proud to be associated with in Zimbabwe. So we sincerely hope this report gives you a good overview of what we achieved in 2019 but also a glimpse of our future support for Zimbabwe. And I want to thank all our partners for making these results possible. As we enter the decade of action, it behooves all of us to set our ambitions even higher to try to achieve all the SDGs for all Zimbabweans.